my girls welcome back to my channel emily from digital plans i know it's been a really really long time since we've sat through and go through our planners and whatnot but i do have a lot of work to do um you know from from like family business my mom really basically broke her knee and i had to like step in and do like extra work for that so it's been wild in my life that i really had to put digital plans sadly on the back burner which i definitely didn't want to do but uh, here we are i do kind of feel like i'm finding a little bit of balance in life that i can you know come back and work a little bit harder on this which i'm really excited about just like post videos again do my memory planners and all of that so this is the end of the year um today is christmas eve actually so <laughs> Merry Christmas, but um, I definitely wanted to take a little bit of time to set up my planners for 2024, which is wild. Um, so yeah, I thought we could just sit down together and get some um, organization going, say goodbye to my 2023 planner. I definitely have to go through all of the goal setting pages and all of that and like close those. So uh, I have to do all of those still. But I do want to just set up. So this is the new 2024 Lux Planner. This is in the color Cinnamon. It's so pretty. I do really like it. And I'm so super excited to use it and to like set it up. Um, I think it's just so freaking gorgeous. I'm so excited about it. And it basically has all the same links. Some of the pages are a little bit polished and, you know, better up. So I do have my inbox here. Um... And I feel like this year I might just do like a little collage, but also I do like to have this page blank to do um, just whatever notes. I love to put like little sticky notes here and just add random thoughts and things that I don't really have time for, but just like really quickly and then go back in here and empty it up. If there's something that I need to schedule, I'll schedule. If I, there's something I need to actually do or whatever. So I also like to put like a waiting on list so of the happy mail that I'm waiting for and then just check it off as it comes. Um, yearly overview, I already started putting like little dots on things that I think are important. So um, yeah, year prep. This is what we need to do, year prep. And then my year reflection is what I need to do on the other planner. So I don't know if I want to have a word of the year. Do you all have a word of the year? Um, it'll actually be kind of interesting to go here and see what my word of the year was. There we go. Growth. I like that. So I'm looking forward to my focus things to improve this year. I will and goals for the year. And then, of course, we have our quarterlies. Our goals page. All of these are goal setting and then our monthly so gosh i really need to get on my monthlies i do have my little planner task cards ready to go so these are for my credit cards that i need to you know keep on track so i'm just gonna go ahead and i don't know if you guys have seen me do these but i just have these little task cards ready to go and i save them up in the element section so that i can reuse them and just like grab all of these little to do's and put them wherever they need to go and then um that's it that's super easy and then when i'm on next month i can again grab my little task cards which are just like recurring things that happen every single month these are my credit cards and every single day you know when my car costs when i need to pay it etc etc so I just like to keep that like that. But if you have like recurring tasks, like every single, I don't know. This also works really great for my subscriptions, which I do have. Uh, these are credits. These are my subscriptions. So I just have another one for my subscriptions and so on. And that way, it just really helps me keep organized. That's the four. These are both 15. I'm going to stack them. Oh. And then I'm just gonna do Amazon 2022. Okay, there we go. Have some extra ones. So that's just like super easy, super simple. And that way I just have my monthly at a glance and I can just like check off as I pay things up, as things happen. 
it's just so nice and convenient um i don't know what my focus of i'm like so brain scattered like i honestly don't know like focus of the month word of the year i'm like what i don't even know <laughs> i feel like maybe i should just like set some goals first and then from that pull like okay this is what i need to focus on but yeah um my habit tracker i really want to go back into tracking my habits like habit trackers mood trackers sleep tracker using all of the trackers you know um because i was really bad at it last year like i never filled this up and i really feel like this would have been really helpful because i do have like migraines and other things and i feel like if i have like a little you know i can like correlate them like hey i had my brain this day oh last week i didn't sleep at all oh last week my mood was that you know and that lot just like helps and these are the new weeklies which i'm so excited about this is so um yeah i'm so excited about the weeklies as well and you do have like a little tracker or habits um you can do like a sleep tracker here you can put like your habits if you have to work on stuff certain days you can just like highlight the days that you have to do it and then just check them off as you go i love having a little to-do list for the week it makes me very happy so i'm so excited about them and then these are the dailies super excited as well i'm going to be using here some of the rectangle semi-transparent stickers these little highlight stickers and that's going to be fun so i can just like copy and go to whatever week i'm at whatever day i'm at and then just like add them here i'm just so excited for this planner i feel like it's gonna look so cute and just like do a little you know daily thing i'm so excited about this planner i think it's gonna be so stinking cute and you do get like a little overview of next month which i kind of want to just do like you know little that for special occasions and whatnot oh i really need to do my goals which is scary but i really need to do my doubts um so yeah this is basically set up the same way as last year because it really worked great for so um i think number one is gonna be finances sadly <laughs> so yeah i need to check i need to like go ahead and do like um that's awful i'm in, like in a weird angle so that i can feel <laughs> um so yeah and i need to do like what do i want to accomplish in one month three months six months nine months and a year for that specific thing and then if you go here you have one month so you check here what do i need to accomplish in one month and then you break it up into steps and then a little reward and then you can check them off as you go and at the end of that month here in january and at the end of that month when we're doing our little uh, reflection you do have a little sticker here and you tap on it and it will bring you back into here so that you can check this up and do your little um uh challenges proud moments goal progress and a reflection and whatnot so that you can just like fill this up and then go back and just like fill three months and see if you are like working towards your goal so these are a little bit private for me uh so i'm gonna go and you know do those a little bit more privately because you know i do have to like go and see i do have to pay off some stuff so i want to like check that out and then um see how much time that's going to take me and how much i have to like put away in a week in a day to like just you know be paying that off um and be able to set realistic goals about it and other goals that i have so yeah quarterlies i don't know how i want to use my quarterlies this year i feel like maybe we can do new releases for the shop so i will have january and just like a little check of things that i want to release 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 and that way i can just like see that i'm on track i feel like that would be kind of really useful to use this for so yeah that is pretty much it i already added my like stickers here and whatnot so this is really simple and ready to go i just have to write it on you know <laughs> so i'm really excited about this um my functional planner this year i do have my memory planner which this year is so stinking cute it is pink because i love pink i feel like my memory planner is just fun is super cute and girly and it's just you know for the fun of all for the funsies of it so 
I'm gonna go ahead and just set it up really quickly. I, again, super obsessed with these colors. We have this little calendar. I don't know, I just like to have it at a glance to see like, oh, June 11 is Tuesday. So that, you know, just like quick reference, but I don't really like to do anything with this. Um, this is super useful for me. So you have like kids for the year 2024 and you have like the weeks here and what days those are going to be so if you have like a celebration or something that you want to like emphasize <laughs> that week you can like plan for your weekly keys in your foil so i'm so excited to come on i'm so excited to just go ahead and see for example here we're gonna have valentine's day so i'm gonna probably want to use a kit to reflect that and things like that and I need to check in the calendar like the exact day that spring begins and things like that so that I can just like use an appropriate sticker kit. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's going to be my birthday. Oh, let's see, mom's day. For me, it's going to be here. Ma oh, I cannot write. Mother's Day, my little sister's birthday is going to be here. Um, you know, all of that, that's also going to be time consuming and just like having to check my actual calendar and my functional planner to see what's happening those days. And I love that because when I'm planning for the month, I can just go ahead and see like the celebrations and the weekly kits that I want to use. Or if I have like special thing like this, definitely will be a New Year's Eve kit. So that I can have here like, that's not your New Year's kit. So that I can check my um, kits, the kits that I have and see if I want to use any of those or if I want to purchase something specifically for that. And then I can see here what foil I want to use for that, which is also really exciting. We have like a little vision board and then we go directly into our monthlies, which I actually kind of feel like maybe I'm going to be using more of these. Maybe I can make foil stickers for like different things. Like I can put here New Year's and just kind of have them like a cute foil color. I think would be nice. I don't know. And then these are the new weeklies, which I'm so excited to start using i really like the whole blank ones but i feel like this is going to be so much more structure which i definitely feel like i need and i love it i love it i'm so excited i feel like this is going to be so for stinking cute for the year and that's basically it throughout the whole planner so i'm super excited to use these i'm so so happy um i don't know this feeling of just like getting your new planners and just like start playing with them so i kind of just wanted to like see through and see what i was working for next year so yeah i do have my reading where is it my reading journal i don't know if i want to use the 2024 one or just like the undated and have like a forever journal so i'm still debating on that but this i just made a little bit more narrow like this and i do already have a wish list huh interesting <laughs> i did just like went ahead and copy um, all of my stuff from last uh, year to like just add some pictures into the listing but I definitely need to go through all of these ones this is so cute um, just like having your library and stuff I really love these this is like not I need to start fresh for the year I just put this in so that I took some pictures um, so yeah my physical TBR again I'm gonna have to sit in front of my <laughs> bookshelf and fill this up this is the ebook thing is a mess because i have a ton of them i did add little tabs here so that when you are in your tbr you have like your physical tbr your kindle or ebooks whatever you use and then your, your audible um wish list and then series i'm gonna just leave us this and then just like i actually started reading this one hold on <laughs> um and just like a little note thing, which I think I'm gonna, I don't know what I have a bookshelf here. Um, I think I'm gonna add in my note section all of the stickers that, that this thing comes with so that I can just like um, grab them easily instead of like having to open the files folder. But yeah, this is going to be my 
uh, planners that I'm going to be using for 2024. I have my reading planner, which I definitely need to, um, well, this is blank because I'm going to, as I read, I'm going to put things in here. Oh, and another thing that comes that didn't came with last year is that now you can tap on it and you have a page for review. So you can add your thoughts, your quotes, anything that you want. You can put like a blank page on top of this and just like do like a collage type of like the vibes that the book gave you. If you want, you can write, you can do like what? you can even draw here and just like add little character things that you want i don't know so i'm super excited to like finally have like a little review for all of the books that i'm going to be reading i need to sit and like do my physical tbr and just like paste from last notebook to this which is why i don't know if i want to do the undated version which is the same thing just have extra more of these like pages i feel like you have like 400 of these like 400 different book reviews, book slots. So yeah, that would be like interesting. And then my memory planner is going to be this really cute pink one that I am so beyond excited. I need to fill up my, all my celebrations so that it's going to be easy for me to like select my weekly kits. And I don't forget because then I do like my kids, my kit lineup. And then um, I realize that that week was kind of special and i wanted to do something else so yeah it's just gonna be easy to use that little page to like organize all of this stuff super excited with a new format and then my functional planner is just gonna be lux planner it's so cute again super excited this has like every single thing that i need for like finances routines goals quarterly this has like extra um you know like little notebooks here that i can use if i want to do anything i have a projects page i have things to keep my like passwords that i need to copy into here into the new planner the finance section was super um just like useful for me i definitely need to do my finance overview to like get started with my net worth and all of that the current payments savings challenge i never use honestly <laughs> um resources and tools i love this page and this is like just like a little more structure from last year so you can put here like my amex for example or like whatever bank you're using the type if it's like a credit card service card whatever cash category you can have your like username and your password which is so freaking nice to have all of these because you always forget like you have like passwords for everything and it's not really like when you have like your credit card and your bank information it's not the same as just like whatever password from like your tumblr and whatnot right so this is really important and then you have like security information so this is great and it's also kind of hidden because it's not like um your passwords also are also kind of hidden because they're here in this little key um it's not like a huge tab that says passwords on it you know and here if you click on it you just have like Oh, financial overview and whatnot and you think oh whatever you know it's like your finances but if you go into resources that's where you get your password so it's nice and protected um which is really important for me so this has everything that i really need to keep my life in check my memory planner like i said just fun it's like memory planner you know <laughs> you guys know it and then my reading journal i do like to keep extensive <laughs> notes and quotes and whatnot for the books that i read so that's gonna be my planner lineup my planners to use in 2024 what are you guys planning using for the next year do you have all of your planners ready and set to go because i clearly do not <laughs> so yeah i would love to know that and yeah i will see you with more videos and more memory plan with me and all of that stuff hopefully in the next year so yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <music>